a lot of the drag content that we've seen on TV before <laughs> has required the queens to only really be performing when they were lip syncing for their life, singing a song that they didn't normally perform. And that was not sort of showcasing them in the way that they're used to being seen. Mm -hmm. So we thought there's an opportunity to show queens be funny on their own terms. This is such a fun, fresh show. I'm having a blast watching it. How did this concept come about? What inspired you both to get into this? Well, I'm I'm in the food world. Well, was or still am. I mean, that was my sort of world for a while. Uh, I sort of left acting and, and became a chef and did some Food Network shows and we judged on shows. And, and you know, I grew up in the drag community in East Village and Neil loves drag and did Hedwig. So we thought, like, marry the two. How much fun would that be? Uh, to have drag queens cook it. It's it really a nice is. combination, I think, of getting to watch um, amazing drag queens do um, what they're what they love doing to watch them entertain and to be funny and 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 sharp and on point, and then also to watch them panicking and uh, outside of their comfort zone, and to and to combine the two into a show that is not making fun of them, but sort of laughing uh, with them. That was right. that was very intentional for us as like, um, we thought that would be good, worth watching. Absolutely. And it feels like a very timely show with everything that's going on regarding drag. Was that something that you had in the back of your minds whenever you were getting into this? Or is it just kind of a, a coincidence that it's coming out now? Oh, it's no, not, we, that, that wasn't an, an intentional it wasn't, there was no agenda to the show. Mm -hmm. We really just respect and admire the queens. Mm -hmm. And if there was any agenda, it would probably be that a lot of the drag content that we've seen on TV before mm -hmm. has required the queens to only really be performing when they were lip syncing for their life, singing a song that they didn't normally perform. And that was not sort of showcasing them in the way that they're used to being seen. Mm -hmm. So we thought there's an opportunity to show queens be funny on their own terms. And so yeah, that was I mean, kind with, of what we wanted to do. And without, I mean, Drag Race is amazing and we love it. And I don't think our show would have been produced without Drag Race, but the only time you really get to see these girls is when they're uh, doing a runway and lip syncing for their life. So you don't see them living, being, you know, like what they do in their act. This show has been on our in our world for five years now. We, you know, the, with the pandemic, and we sold it to another uh, uh, another streaming company, and that ended up not happening. So thank God Hulu picked it up. Yeah. But um, it's been here for a while, so it wasn't an agenda of like, oh, drags like in trouble now, so we got to pick up the pieces. No. If anything, I feel like it's a perfect time. You know, drag mm. is at the forefront of everyone's talk you know talking about it so you know it seems great you know when there's a fire put more logs on it well <laughs> at the end of the day i think i think humor is the ultimate unifier mm -hmm. and so when you watch if you have any questions about uh drag or concerns uh watch drag me to dinner and i think you'll leave laughing and smiling and you know perhaps having a change of perspective and that's why we did it in the first place to have people just celebrate drag and have a laugh because right now i mean regardless of what's going on in the drag community everybody needs to laugh right now we just need to sit and have fun and laugh and and sing and be silly and unify and, and that's what a dinner party does like that's why you have dinner parties to bring everyone together and to unify them well and speaking of being together what was it like working together i always love seeing you work together i imagine you like it you keep doing it <laughs> for sure i mean I'm the biggest David Burke fan in the yeah. world. He, we met both uh, acting on Broadway in musicals together, like down the street from each other. And then he has gotten to do so many amazing things and gather so many different skill sets that to be able to co-produce a show with him, to co-create a show with him, and then to get to be a judge -er and have him, you know, be the expert and to focus in on things that he knows about in addition to acting and performing, he knows about dinner parties and about cooking and about how to make food and drinks. And, and so it's sort it's kind of a, a perfect showcase for David and his skill sets as well. 
It's great. It's honestly great. I mean, it's the way we parent. We're very different parents in the way we parent, but it's a very nice contrast, you know, on how we were very different in our, our, our techniques. And that was the same with the show. Like Neil did different tasks that I didn't do. Like I would work with the Queens more and pick the Queens and go scout and like, get the teams together. And then on set, I'd be working with the food elements and I'd be making sure the dinner party elements good with them. And then Neil would be more of like uh, getting the shots and the director and making sure that everybody's like the camaraderie is there. And like, we, we have our different strengths and we use those to our benefit. And we didn't overlap in like a competition way of like, oh, well, he's doing that. So I can't do that. So it worked really, really well, I thought. Well, and he's I super so handsome too. to look at. Oh. <laughs> we can yeah. all agree on that. <laughs> well, it came together beautifully. I am absolutely loving the show. I can't wait for everyone to get to see it. So thank me you for too. talking with me about it. 